Did you know that gravity is actually not a force? Or at least according to Albert Einstein, it's not. What gravity actually is, it's not a force, it's a curvature in the fabric of space-time. So I want you to think of space-time as the three dimensions of space, length, width, and height, coupled with the fourth dimension, which is time. And Einstein said all four of those dimensions are intricately linked in a fabric that we call space-time. Now space-time is four-dimensional, so I'm gonna use a two-dimensional model to try to explain it. Imagine taking a bowling ball and putting it on a trampoline and that causes the trampoline to bend. And then if you took another ball and placed it nearby, that ball would roll towards the central bowling ball because it has curved the trampoline surface around itself. Well, Einstein said there's no difference between that model and how space-time actually works. So large masses like the sun, they actually bend the space-time fabric around themselves. And because space is bent, if I were to take a planet like Earth and just set it here nearby, it would actually roll or fall into the sun, and that's what we would perceive as gravity. But of course, the Earth doesn't actually fall into the sun, otherwise I wouldn't be here making this video. Instead, the Earth orbits the sun. And that's because when the Earth entered the solar system, it was originally moving. And because that mass has motion, it has velocity, it's gonna to continue to orbit around the sun. But wait a minute, how do we know any of this is actually real? Well, there was an astronomer by the name of Sir Arthur Eddington, and in the year 1919, he went to a location on Earth that was directly in the shadow of a solar eclipse. So what he did was he took out his camera and he started taking pictures of the sun while it was being blocked out by the moon. And we knew, because we have the night sky very well charted at this point, that there were some star clusters behind the sun, and I'm just gonna simplify and draw two stars here. And they should have been directly behind the sun, completely blocked out, so there's no way we should be able to see these stars but what happened was the starlight from this star actually did bend around the Sun and so the same happened with the stars over here and so when we look out to see where these stars are actually coming from we assume light travels in a straight line so when we look back out to see where the starlight's at we imagine or we see a phantom star over here so the stars are actually here, but the starlight bent around the sun, and then they appeared to be over here, billions of miles away in a different location in space. And not only did Einstein predict that would happen, he was able to predict exactly the angle at which this starlight would bend. His prediction was so spot on that we had no choice but to acknowledge that yes, indeed, the sun is bending starlight around itself, and therefore it is curving space-time, and so gravity is not a force, it's a curvature in the fabric of space-time.